All right, well, I haven't seen much on uh, videos on maintenance on the EVs on YouTube, so I guess uh, I might as well do them. Well, you know, I probably waited a lot longer than I should have, but as you can see, I went and sprayed this uh, battery protector I got down at O'Reilly. Sprayed all the terminals real well, so I'm hoping that uh, everything will stay corrosion free. I think that's a more than I can expect. Now, the other thing I noticed is because of corrosion, I've got uh, rust. You see the rust down there. So probably next time around, that one's not as bad, but. And also noticed, and you can see right there, see that drive shaft? That's the front drive shaft. And it looks like something's been touching the front drive shaft. So the question is, is what? Because there's nothing down there close enough to it that can touch it. I, but there was originally, and it's, uh, I think I saw another video, I've got this cable uh, tie wrapped right up in there to the other cables because it was over here actually within an inch so I don't know I don't think it did that much uh, rubbing on that uh, drive shaft before I moved it it just couldn't have been that much so I'm looking at it and thinking well it must be something else but I don't see anything else there's no other spot on the drive shaft except that one spot so now I'm thinking well I guess that was something else I don't know but to get these, uh, eventually I have to pull these out of here. These plates that these batteries sit on and have that powder coated or it's going to get pretty rusty. So it looks like you pull this uh, plastic piece. This is just plastic. Little pins, all this just pops off real easy. I mean, I suppose all this comes out the side. You've got these holders, all this batteries have holders made into them so once you uh, unscrew everything it looks like it'll all slide out this side fairly easy so you just uh, keep track of where your cables go so somewhere along here we're gonna have to do that um, powder coat that get that back in good shape otherwise take a risk there's no telling how much other uh, rust could be down in there I mean, you've got to wash those batteries off. They get uh, mud and stuff all comes up through the hole down here. And you can see my shoe that pop up and gets all kind of junk up here on top of them. And uh, leaves and debris. And pretty much you got to go in here and rinse all that off. You got battery acid that runs off. Bouncing around, I suppose. I don't know. I guess if you had some... Uh, you know, lithium batteries in here and we do have a lithium battery kit I've got a link to it on my uh, Polaris EV Club uh, I'm not sure if I link that for my video I'll try to remember to do that so uh, uh, someone did actually make a uh, pretty good I think it doubles or triples the uh, range and all that it's probably uh, uh, pretty pricey if you want to go for the big battery pack that'll do all that but uh, hopefully we'll just skip that all together and forget about lithium batteries and go straight to running capacitor things off capacitors which uh, China is doing actually right now if you go on China on uh, YouTube and search uh, China uh, bus look under bus China bus something like that you'll find uh, videos and they have buses that actually run on capacitors and it's one of those stop and off and unload people they have a little uh, thing pops up and they charge the batteries and then they go on so they don't have a uh, great range but they charge every time they stop or most every time and and that keeps keeps them going all day long they're just running on capacitors and, and we do have capacitor technology there is a uh, one thing I think of right off the bat you can buy here in the United States is the uh, five uh, 5.11 tactical it's a flashlight it's called flashlight for life and it runs on a capacitor it's an LED it's actually a 300 lumen flashlight so it puts out quite a bit of light and it's uh, uh, you don't open it up it's completely sealed it's just got a little charger and you charge it up 
and basically last flashlight you'll ever buy I was just thinking I've got uh, mine laying over here somewhere let me see if I can just grab it yeah here it is okay 5.11 tactical sits down a charger runs uh, charges off 12 volts I doubt you can see that but it says 5.11 tactical on it and it's uh, three LEDs, about uh, 290 lumens, I think. So, <clears throat> charges in one and a half minutes completely. One and a half minutes, it'll run uh, over an hour. It steps down, it goes uh, 300 lumens. I doubt you can see it much. 300 lumens, and then uh, I think it's 10 or 20 minutes, it'll run on 300 lumens, and then it steps down. It'll go down to 90 lumens to 70 lumens. And eventually, uh, I don't know what the lowest is, but eventually it'll cut off. But a uh, minute and a half charge, it'll run over uh, over an hour, hour and 20 minutes, I think. Something like that. It's awesome. Just a capacitor. It's extremely light. Capacitor charges up. You get light out of it. Now, we have that technology, and we have it for uh, capacitor batteries. And uh, it's just a matter of when the, they'll be made available. And when they do, we could skip the lithium probably altogether and go straight to capacitors, which are much better uh, in the long run. I think the thing they're worried about is capacitors. Uh, the size they use in that bus are huge. And uh, I mean, they're not the kind of capacitors you're thinking of. They're probably a foot in diameter and three feet long, and there's probably uh, 20 of them or 30 of them in a bus. <laughs> so they're not the kind of capacitors you're thinking of, but they're just made out of... Tin. Usually, uh, you can make you can make a capacitor out of tin. You can make a homemade capacitor. It's awesome. I've made them years ago, so they're 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 usable and it's possible. Here you got one product that shows the concept. So we'll talk about that again one day. At any rate, I'd like to mention again that uh, when you're working on this thing, you've got this uh, link that you can pull that pin and then you can let this top goes back farther. It gives you a lot more room to get you, get in there and do uh, maintenance. And maintenance generally uh, on this thing is zero. Except for your batteries, uh, your tires <laughs> when they go flat. Uh, no real maintenance that I've done. Uh, I can't think of anything that I've actually had to do other than maintain the batteries and you know, I've had to do that every 10 hours, which is kind of a pain. Going, well, the batteries haven't been that low. I did have one that had three low cells one time. And everything else was good except for three low cells. So you definitely have to go in here and, and check them anyway. Uh, no telling how that came about. I think it was these three right here. But at any rate, uh, so you do have to check them. Usually they're, they're just a little low, not a problem after 10 hours but you get corrosion so we'll see what the corrosion does this time and maybe it won't be near as bad we can go 20 hours without having to mess with the battery cables again all right that's it